what I do want to do is I want to address a certain individual, all right, who over the years has had association with me, but has he really? It's just kind of a weird thing, all right? And I think today is the day to address it because we got a few things going on in this regard. And I'm going to try to address it as matter-of-factly and fairly as I can, okay? So let's talk about it, okay? Um, oh, by the way, over 400 viewers on the stream, 96 likes, guys. Let's hit 100 likes. In fact, we're going to hit 100. Let's hit 150 likes. Right now, if you're here and you're enjoying the Level 1 podcast, please like the stream. I would absolutely appreciate if you did. Please consider supporting the stream in any way. Super chats, memberships, gifted memberships, or tips. Right now, outside of those few super chats I shouted out, we got nothing. And like I said, it would be great if we could hit and continue the King's streak and keep that momentum going uh, and, and basically uh, <clears throat> get some progress before I play the game. That way I can just focus on the game, all right? But hey, anything is appreciated, all right? And you guys helped so much recently. We, let's, let's, right now, we have no members. Let's get some memberships for the community. People are sitting here. I see so many gray, gray names in the chat. People want some memberships, so consider contributing in that way, too. That helps a ton, okay? Anyway, let's get to the topic, because obviously this is what you guys want to talk about today, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, there's someone in the FGC, the fighting game community. His name is Low Tier Guy, all right? And... Mr. Sparrow, as he likes to call himself, because I think that's the name he likes to go by, um, over the years has essentially been what they, what the FGC would argue to be a really toxic element. And what I mean by that is, through his actions, through his words, the things he said and done, the FGC just doesn't like this guy. Now you might ask me, well, what do you mean? I don't know. I mean, I'll be truthful with you guys. I literally don't know. I don't know what he's actually done to gain the ire of the FGC. Because he started doing this after I was done with the FGC. Like, I was part of the fighting game community through 2007. I officially retired from competitive play at that point. When Street Fighter 4 came out, I covered it fully for YouTube. And I went to a few tournaments and I covered them. But I kind of retired from that life around 2011. And I just haven't cared about it since. Do I still cover fighting games? Oh, yes, I do. I love fighting games. I still cover them. I still make tons of coverage and play them all the time. But I'm not going to tournaments. I'm not covering tournaments. I don't care about the competitive high-level life of grinding and doing well in the FGC. I just don't give a shit, okay? So <clears throat> this guy, low-tier guy, I guess became famous or infamous or whatever you want to call it after I was already done with the FGC. Like, he was a nobody, but when I was still going to tournaments and caring, all right? Um, now, from what I'm going to understand, they, LTG is called the Black DSP. By the FGC. But here's the thing. DSP is not part of the FGC, nor have I been for ages. So the only thing I can think of, all right, is that they're comparing him to me back in the day. Like what like we just covered in my documentary by June the King, that in my days in the Street Fighter, <clears throat> I was the biggest internet shit talker possible. I would open my mouth and I would, you know, throw spew out trash talk and threats and all kinds of stuff. The whole idea was to build up hype for a tournament. So that when we went to the tournament, people would care about seeing me either win or lose against certain people, usually lose. They were always rooting against me, right? But that was the thing. That was It was hype. It would get people excited to go to the tournament and see DSP be challenged and lose and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that, if anything, right? That's the only thing I can think of in regards to this man that they're saying that he's like me. Maybe he's an insanely huge internet shit talker. And then maybe he goes to the tournament and he loses. I don't know, right? Who knows? I don't know. So I don't know, but all I know is they've said this for ages, that he's the black DSP, okay? <clears throat> now, I am aware that at one point, he had a big, big rivalry with Viscan, Jay Snyder. And the thing is, back in the day, I had a fake rivalry with Viscan. It wasn't real. I guess Jay might have thought it was. It never was. To me, it was a joke. I didn't really give a shit. Um... But I guess because he picked a fight with Jay Snyder, that's what led to people also saying that he's the black DSP because they're like, oh, look, he's doing the same thing DSP did back in the day, right? Only the difference is with my rivalry with Jay Snyder, it didn't go anywhere. And I just said, this is stupid. It's fake. Squash it. And then we were cool after that. Like, I have no problems with the guy. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any problems with me either, you know? Um, but then... With, this, with, with LTG, for whatever reason, I guess, I don't know how it happened, but he got into this big heated rivalry with Jay Snyder, 
and it culminated in this tournament where they both attended. And it was, uh, was it uh, Street Fighter V it was that they played, I think? And I think Jay beat him. And then Jay talked monstrous shit to him, and rightly so, because he beat him. And since then, I guess what's happened is LTG has essentially laid low. And what I mean by that is not that he stopped making... This, this puff of hair is really annoying me, if you can't tell. It just won't stay down. Some days it does, and other days it just sticks straight up. It's really annoying. But who gives a shit, right? Okay. Um, this is like a pet peeve of mine. It bothers me when I see that on camera. But anyway, oh, it was Street Fighter 4? It was Street Fighter 4, it was actually Street Fighter 4, not Street Fighter 5, excuse me. So it was that long ago, okay? Um, so, um, in that regard, LTG loses, Jay talks a bunch of shit. And since then, LTG has basically publicly said that whole thing was a mistake and a waste of time because he had nothing to gain from it. Like, when he lost, now the whole internet uses him as, you know, makes fun of him. And it makes everyone, it's a big negativity, right? So for him, he doesn't see that basically there's any reason to do anything. Wait, people are saying LTG won? LTG beat Jay Snyder in the money match? I thought he lost. And that's where the... No, because Jay won and then he talked shit after the fact. So what are you talking about? That's right. LTG lost and, and Viscant popped off on him essentially, right? Something about the taste of his dick in his mouth or something like that, if I remember correctly. <laughs> right? So, after that, LTG basically was like, he didn't want to do any more of this kind of stuff. I guess he did a few. I don't know if he won or lost some other rivalries that he had. But, basically, in his mind, he's basically not going to get anything out of a rivalry. He thinks that, you know, it's not no benefit to him to have a rivalry and, and win or lose. Like, it's not worth his time. Okay? So, he kind of sits around on his streams by himself, isolated. Doesn't really collab with anyone. Doesn't really do much besides just sit there and rage at fighting games and suck half the time. Because I've seen some of his content. Sometimes he plays really well, and other times he's awful, right? And what's funny is people are like, yeah, he gets lots of views and, and subs. And you look at his stream and you're like, there's no fucking way that's real. The guy's terrible. Half the time, he's losing and he's so upset and he bans all these people. He actually, he literally, if he gets hit with a super... He dashboards, meaning he hits the button to go to the dashboard so he doesn't see the super connecting. And then he goes back to the game after the fact. So basically, he, he can't handle getting hit by a super. He's memorized the lengths of super animations. But he doesn't have to see them, okay? So anyway, um, basically, his content is very bizarre. And you, you'll watch it, and you'll see that he has, like, thousands of viewers, but where is the support from the viewers? Because they don't support it. The only way he gets support is that he gets uh, subs on Twitch. But it's very bizarre. He's claiming he has over 3,000 subs. But it's like, do you think those are real? If a guy who's so infamous and hated, right, in the community, no one really likes the guy. People watch to make fun of him. Why would he have over 3,000 active subs on, on Twitch? It's just bizarre, right? It is. It's very weird. And <clears throat> some people have already reached out to me and told me, that it seems like a lot of them are fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe a lot of these are fake subs and people who found ways around it. I don't know if you could do the Argentinian bullshit over there on Twitch like you could do on YouTube. I would hope not, but maybe that's what it is. Or perhaps it's like, some people have these weird conspiracy theories that are fucking way out there. They're like, so he pays bots, bot accounts to come in and he, and he bots the subs. So he looks more more popular than he is and he basically he's paying for his own subs I, I i'm sorry i just don't believe that i think that's the most ludicrous thing i've ever fucking heard you really think someone would pay for their own subs to look more popular than they are i don't think so that's that's insanity to me like that's so elaborate and it's too dumb you know what i'm saying apostate cantus says his chat moves way too slow when he does a poll he only gets like 40 40 votes okay so here we go i'm gonna do a poll right now Ready? Do you think LTG has bot accounts on Twitch? Yes or no? Okay? You guys vote in the chat. Do you think that LTG has this whole bot thing going on on Twitch? Let's see what you guys think. All right? And by the way, 
We have over 500 viewers now, so if you could please hit the like button to help this stream, I would appreciate that very, very much. And if you could contribute, I would also appreciate that. Right now, we only have about $8 of Super Chats, no members whatsoever, and 10 bucks of tips. We can do better than that. Come on, let's fill the King's coffers. Let's keep the Vestry, or the Vestry, let's keep the King Street going today. All right, let's get it going. All right? <laughs> no, I don't mean view botting. I mean botting in general. Because how is it that, again, the guy apparently isn't liked, right? Yet. He has over 3,000 plus subs. That doesn't make sense at all. And by the way, if he had over 3,000 plus subs, the guy wouldn't have any problems with anything, financially or anything, right? But apparently the rumors are that he has a lot of problems. Now, I'm not going to delve into that because that's none of my fucking business. If he has financial problems and personal problems, I don't care. That's nothing to do with me. I, I hate when people try to go into that shit. But essentially, um, it just seems to be very bizarre, okay? Very, very fucking bizarre. The whole situation over there, all right? So anyway, what does this have to do with me, okay? Well, here's what it has to do with me. The guy brings me up from time to time, or people bring me up from time to time, correct? And he talks about me. So several years ago, there was a situation where we were interested in maybe doing, like, uh, 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 matches. It was in a collection. Was it the Capcom Classics? No, it was one of these collections that came out. And I people proposed to me, they said, why don't you play LTG in it? And I was like, you know, I think that would be neat. Because, for example, I know that I'm super good in Super Turbo and I would beat him. But I don't know if he would beat me in the other games. Like, maybe he's better than me at Third Strike or Alpha. I don't even know. So why don't we do a fun event? Since everyone always talks about us in the same circles and everything, why don't we do a fun event where basically it's him versus me and we'll go at each game and we'll see who wins what or whatever, right? And basically, he said publicly, I don't want to do it because I don't think that there's anything to benefit from it. Like, if there was a guarantee that this guy was going to make bank or something, then he would do it. But he's like, there's no guarantees for me that I'm going to get any positivity out of this, so I don't want to do it. I can, listen, I can appreciate that honest response. Here's why. There's a lot of things that, over the years, people try to get me involved in, I don't want to do them because I don't see the point, right? For example, this documentary with Mike Clum, at first I thought maybe yes, and after a while I was like, nah, I don't think so. I don't see the point, right? Maybe eventually that would change, but right now I have no interest in it whatsoever. Okay, none, zero. So, um, I get it. I get that answer. And at that point, it was kind of all respectful or whatever. And a few years had gone by or whatever. And then Street Fighter Six was coming out. Now, I want you to think about this, okay? Street Fighter Six is coming out. Huge popularity, reinvigoration into the fighting game community. Everyone's playing Street Fighter all of a sudden. The game is heavily lauded. It's reviewed very well. Everyone's talking about Street Fighter. <clears throat> I said, now is the time. Now is the time. If we were going to do something, this would be the best possible time. Everyone is talking about Street Fighter Six. Let's do a, a hype set. We first to 10, right? And you can stream your perspective. I stream mine. I guarantee you, guarantee you that this event would be popular. People would like it. And I said, let's even do it Evo week. Let's do it while Evo is broadcasting its qualifying rounds. And let's get our streams to be Evos. Because I bet it would. I bet we get thousands of viewers to watch us go at it. And it would be Evo's attendance stream because no one cares about the fucking qualifying pools. We'll beat out Evo, right? How fun would that be? He basically comes back at me with the most, like, stupid, half-assed stuff. He's, he says shit about my appearance. He's like, oh, you got to come back to me. You have, to, you have to work on your sexy. You have to look different. You have to... You know, change your... First of all, he insults my setup when arguably my setup's better than his. He insulted my setup saying that my, my everything looked bad and stuff. It's like, dude, you never... You haven't looked at my shit in years. Obviously, you're talking out of your ass, right? And he starts talking about my appearance and shit. I'm not crispy enough and shit. It's like, what are you talking about? We're talking about Street Fighter. We're not talking about a fucking fashion show where we're walking down the catwalk in Milan. You know what I mean? I'm not a fucking supermodel. We're talking about Street Fighter... You're nuts. Like, the things he's saying are just fucking, like, unhinged nonsense. Like, no fucking rational human would be saying this shit. But I think it's just, it's just part of his, his shtick at this point, okay? And also, he's talking about the gym and my beard and shit. It's like, the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like, why are you ha hanging on my physical appearance? Like, I'm not looking to go on a date with you. I'm not going to buy you chocolates and give you roses and wine and dine you with a fucking filet mignon. I just want to beat your ass to Street Fighter. And then it would be fun because everyone would have a good time and we'd all make bank, right? So after, after that, after me responding to his absolutely ludicrous original response, he goes on Twitter and he DMs me and he goes, 
So you're clout chasing. Like, I want you to think about this. LTG thinks that I, Dark Side Phil, would gain clout by playing him. He actually thinks that. <laughs> he thinks that. Like, okay, bro, whatever you say, you really think I'm going to get clout. No, what it's going to be, it's going to be a hype-ass stream that everyone wants to see. It's what everyone wants to see. It's going to be fun as hell. It, everyone will be talking about it. We're going to get views. We're going to make money on it. It's going to be a good time for both sides. It doesn't even matter who wins or loses. People will like it, right? He says that I'm the clout chaser. Like, dude, I have absolutely, and I just, I'm just so confused, right? I am. I don't understand what the fuck he's talking about. So basically, he said that, and he says, the only way that I'll play you is $5,000 up front. And then he blocked me on Twitter, okay? And that was over a year ago. That was like, like summertime a year ago, during the early days of Street Fighter Six and Evo going on and everything, okay? So basically, for like a year, I've stayed away from the guy because I'm like, I don't really care. It's I like, you know what I'm saying? Like the guy's, a, first of all, I hate to say it, the guy really, any popularity he had, it's gone. He tried to go on this like tour of popularity where he went on Destiny's podcast and had an interview with Destiny and he thinks it did something for him. It did not. It didn't do anything. It was hilarious because he thinks it's some big deal that he went on Destiny's podcast. You're aware that Destiny asked me on his podcast multiple times and I always tell him, no, there's no fucking point. I want nothing to do with that guy. He ain't going to do nothing for me. He's, you know what I mean? Um, and the, the funny part is he really believes that like he deserves $5,000 or something, right? He really does. Like he, he genuinely believes $5,000 should be given to him for an appearance. What LTG doesn't re realize is that nobody cares about him. So no one would pay him $5,000 to do anything. All right. LTG, I was offered $50,000 to be on a podcast for Keemstar, okay? Because I have value in my appearances and what I have to add, and you know what I mean? People are interested in what Dark Side Phil is up to. No one offered you anything to be on a show because no one cares. No one wants you on their show. No one's gonna pay you $5,000 for anything. You're out of your mind. Now, the funny part is you could make $5,000 if you agreed to do something with someone. Not Destiny, because no one gives a fuck about Destiny interviewing you. They talk, they want drama. They want hype. They want something exciting. DSP and LTG having some kind of a collab would actually put butts in seats. It would get people talking. It would get people stirred up in the drama sphere. They want to see it. They're excited for that because people have called you the Black DSP for so many years. That would actually get people, wow, let's do it. Let's see the face-off, finally, of DSP versus LTG. Let's get it going. And by the way, as funny as this is, this would be anything. It could be us playing Street Fighter. It could be us literally sitting here and having an interview on the Level 1 podcast and finally interacting, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. That's what people want. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's exactly what they want. But this guy seems so averse to anything that would benefit him. Instead, he just wants to sit there on his little stream and he wants to talk to himself in his little, his little, you know, isolated bubble and sit there with his 3,000 subs, which probably aren't real. And this is his life. He's okay with that. I mean, I just don't get that. All right? I don't. Um, But anyway, a week or two ago, as I started to reach out all right, to the internet and say, who is it that you guys would like to see me do interactions with? A lot of people said LTG. Now, the thing is, I have no way to actually at all reach out to this man because he blocked me. You know what I'm saying? He blocked me on fucking Twitter, so I can't interact with him at all. Okay? So, I tweeted this. I'll read it word for word for you. All right? If low tier God would climb out of his castle, and I mean that too, because if he, I think he feels like he's the king of his own castle. He's the lord of his own domain, but he actually won't reach out to anyone else. He just wants to be himself. And I understand that to some extent, but at some point you got to branch out. Look what I've done in the last month and a half and how it's benefited me and everything, right? It really has been a giant benefit for everyone. So if Lord your God would climb out of his castle and be on the level one podcast and have a respectful and normal conversation with me, it would break the internet. Just like if he played me in Street Fighter Six last year during Evo weekend, as I'd proposed. But he declined, 
called me a clout chaser and he blocked me. Is there any way to make this man see reason? I just want to make the match of the millennium happen. What's wrong with that? He would make 5K easy from his viewers, and that's what he asked me to pay for his time. Yes, for real. All right? So, officially, LTG, you are never going to receive $5,000 from anyone. No one cares about you enough. But if you were to appear on the show, if you were to play me a Street Fighter, you would make $5,000 from your audience. If they're already get, giving you 3,000, 4,000 subs on Twitch, they're going to give you what you want. But you actually have to put the work in. It's not you get it up front and then you maybe decide to put the content out. No, you have to be making the content and then you get rewarded for it. That's how this works. There's no get paid up front for internet content. That, that doesn't happen. You understand? I know I've been in this... Uh, I've definitely been in this business for a while. I know how it works. It's you make the content, people like the content, then you receive compensation for said content. Not you get paid first and then you do the work. That's not, you're not a contracted worker on a contract here to build a house or whatever. You're making you know, drama shit on the internet. You understand? So anyway, that's the last thing I really said about LTG. Someone said to me, he responded, Phil. But I was looking for days. I couldn't fucking find this video. Finally, someone sent it to me. All right, here it is. And this video is old. It's like a week old, I guess. So I must have missed it when he did it because this was for, from September 5th. But apparently this was like from the day or two before on his stream. All right, so here it is. He's going to respond to that tweet. I, I promise you, I have not. I got to move my camera because I'm blocking him. I have not watched this at all. I have absolutely no clue what this man is about to say. I really don't. So let's watch it together live, all right? And now I got some shout outs to do, but let's watch it together live. Here we go. New fighting games come out? What are you talking about? I'm not a part of the FGC, I wouldn't know. I know the same shit you do. Fatal Fury? I don't fucking know. Here we go. <laughs> so you see, I'm taking a look at his setup. And I see in his background, he has the uh, the hexagon felt panels. So he has, basically, he has the dollar store version of my setup. That's what that is. That's the really cheap one that you can get. Like, you could buy a ton of those for, like, 20, 30 bucks. And it's just, like, a little sticky tape you put on the wall. So it's basically, like, the far, far inferior version of what I have behind me. But he's going to say to me that my setup is bad. And, I, you know, my setup's terrible. And his is really, really good. Right? <laughs> Right. Okay, whatever you say, bro. By the way, let's take a look at the poll. 59% of people feel that he has, he's has he got some kind of bots thing going on on Twitch. That's what the poll said. And by the way, there were hundreds of votes there. Hundreds and hundreds. You know, he gets 333 votes I got. He gets like 40. I got 333 votes on my stream that has over 600 viewers and climbing. If you are here and you're enjoying yourself, guys, please hit the like button. We're at 150 likes. Let's get it to 200. Let's get the 200 likes here on the stream today. And please support the stream. I'm going to do some shout outs for Super Chats in a second. But everything else would be great. I mean, we're trying to hit the tips goal. Let's get to some tips going. All right. So, all right. Here we go. What is this? If low tier guy would climb out of his castle to be on level one podcast and have a respectful, normal conversation with me, it would break the internet. Just like if he played me in Street Fighter 6 last year during <laughs> Evo hey. weekend, as I propose. But he did what? Why is his mouth? Wait a minute. Look at his mouth. It's not synced with the audio. Why is his mouth not synced with his audio? Take a look at his mouth moving and the audio. It's not synced at all. Klein called me Cloud Chaser and blocked me. I don't remember blocking him. I don't think about this nigga. Is there any way to make this? I don't remember blocking him. His, his audio is desynced, by the way. It's not synced properly. He's, I don't remember blocking him. Dude, you did it in a big spectacle. The way you did it. It's because it's a video on demand. Because someone ripped this from his stream. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough then. It's not his quality then. I won't, I won't, I won't actually take shot for that if it's not, if that's not the case. If he's synced on his streams, then it's all good. He does have the dollar store background that you can get for like $30 and doesn't really do anything. But okay, let's continue. Man, see reason. I just want to make the match of the millennium happen. What's wrong with that? He would make 5k easy from his viewers, and that's what he asked me to pay for his time. I wouldn't give me five bands then, nigga. Run my five bands up, up front. 
No one will ever pay you five bands for anything because you're not worth that. You understand? They'll pay me $50,000 to be on a podcast. They won't pay you anything because you're not worth it. You have to earn it. You have to actually put in the content and the work first, and then you'll be rewarded. So if you show up on this show, if you play me in Street Fighter, you're going to earn 5000 easy from your viewers, but you have to do the work first. You don't just get rewarded for nothing. You're not God's gift to humanity. No one's going to be opening their fucking wallets to toss money at you. It's, you're, you're, you're delusional with the way you're acting here. And then I'll think about it. There is no what I'll make. Just give me the money. So he wants 5000 and he'll think about it. On what universe do you exist? Dude, you're sitting in an office with a $30 background, but you tell me that my shit looks bad, right? You're worse than me as Street Fighter. Like, what are you talking about? No one's going to pay you five bands for anything. If you went to the bank and you tried to rob the bank, they wouldn't give you five bands. They'd probably give you like, like one band because they, they'd be like, nah, that's LTG. He only gets the one. <laughs> Like, there's no one, no way this is happening ever. You're out of your mind. You may and likely will make five bands if you do the content first. All right? But you have to do the content first. If it's not about revenue, I don't give two shits for the most part. If it comes to me using my character, my presence, I must be paid. I've done. And you will when you do the work. Does he have an LED wall? that's on his right-hand side that cannot be seen on camera? Is that LED panels that he bought and he put them on his wall, but you can't see them in his setup? Is that what that is? <laughs> What's up, Game Boy? How you doing, man? If, I'm gonna, if we're going to use his character, he needs to be paid. You will be paid after the work. That's how life works. You get paid after the work for the work you put in. Really, if, I tell you right now, don't, do you guys not think that if that man came on my show and we sat here for an hour shooting the shit about everything, right? Everything. And I'm sure he'd talk some shit and I would talk some shit, right? But we could talk about all kinds of shit. Don't you think that people would like support that guy and give him some income and be like, hey, that was a really rare appearance for you. That was really good. Here's some income. Because instead of going on Destiny's show, which no one gives two fucks about him, being on Destiny's show. There's no corroboration there. There's no relation there. You're actually reaching out to someone who people have wanted to see you interact with for so many years, right? That's where you're going to get the benefit from. Not from going to some random show that no one cares about that fucking crossover at all. You got to go to what people have been asking for, right? But he definitely would make bank. I don't know if he would make $5,000 or anything, but he definitely would make some bank because he was on here. He would fucking, his file, again, look at his sub count that's below his screen there, which I guess is legit. 3,626 out of 3,700. On subs alone, this man is making like $7,000, $8,000 a month. Minimum, because it could be more. I don't know what his sub level is, but if it's that $5 sub level on Twitch, right? Then he's making 7, 8K a month just on subs alone. That's huge. That's to be applauded. That's to be respected that you're making that much. Why don't you think that your fans would then support you even further? Right? I just, this doesn't make any sense at all. I, I'm lost. Let's continue because there's still more. I thought that would be it, but there's three more minutes. So let's see what he says. And too many things for free in life already. I'm to the point where if I'm doing it and it's something that's, that's not my passion, I got to be paid for it. Simple. Yeah, he seriously has an LED panels on his setup, but it's off camera. So why'd you buy it? It's for you to stare at it? Like, he's got the he's got the $30 felt wall behind him. And he doesn't put the LED panels behind him? What is he doing? Just move them over. So give me five bands. And I'll play you in a stupid Street Fighter game. Marquette thinks he's so slick. I, I just ordered food and it? he started doing it. Is the rest of it about fucking cats now? Does, is it really like another... Three minutes that has nothing to do with me? Is that really it? Okay. Like, it's very simple. Anybody that wants clout off me? I will not get any clout off you. At all. No one's going to be, oh my god. Phil now has really increased his internet stature. Because he did interactions with LTG. At all. There be, there's no clout to be gained, alright? There's entertaining content to be made that people want to digest. 
and see. People have always said you're the black DSP. They've wanted to see this crossover happen for ages. I've heard it year after year. People always ask me for it. And I'm like, I can't give it to you because he refuses. All right. This is how the internet works. I don't know like where he's been. I mean, he's been making content for how many years? He doesn't understand this is how the internet works. That you make content people want to see. They watch it. And then they actually fucking like pay you for it after you've made it. Right? This is just dumb. Right? <laughs> What he's saying, there's no logic to what he's saying. You understand? He's just in this weird world where everyone pays him and then he'll just do things. No, you don't get paid up front for anything. You earn it. Just pay me. No one's going to ever pay you. Ever. No one. No one's going to offer you money up front for anything. There's no, there's no value there. They want you to make the content first and you'll be rewarded for it as it's happening. That's how content creation on the internet works. You want a you wanna set with low tier guy? Give me money. Um, and the thing is, he even read it, and I, it doesn't even say I want a set. It says I want him on the show. I want him on the podcast. Why do you think I want to play him in Street Fighter? Like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with everyone. I'm gonna beat his ass in Street Fighter if we play, right? Like literally, it doesn't. The only like he'll beat me in like Street Fighter Four and Five because I didn't play those. But if we're playing Street Fighter Six, if we're playing a classic Street Fighter game, I'm gonna beat his ass. The guy is not, he's not that good. All right. And if he says I don't care, I'm not part of the FGC. Okay. Then, then forget the Street Fighter idea. It's dumb if you think, because just admit I'm going to beat you, and that's why you're not going to do it. And instead, just come on the show instead, right? Just come on the show. You want me to be on some stupid podcast? Give me money. Um, not PR money either. Something that like, 5K is even low ball. I need 10. I need 10 bands for this. Now he wants 10. He's insane. He, this guy is so delusional, right? He's so delusional. 10K? Dude, I got offered five times more than that to be a part of something. No one offers you anything, dude. You're not getting anything. What are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? You're nuts. Because really, what am I going to do with 5K? <laughs> like, I'm I'm from Cali. I live in SoCal. The fuck am I going to do with $5,000? Well, you can get a better background. Um, you know, improve your setup, perhaps. You can work on your sexy. Right? Maybe you get some, you know, some nice stuff done to your face. You go to a spa or whatever. I don't know. Get some food. I don't know. what You know, whatever you want, you can do a 5K. Certainly, definitely you could do it something with it. That's for sure. You know, but I just... This guy's nuts. I'm in SoCal. 5K is nothing to me. Dude, you have 3,600 subs on Twitch. So, you make about 7 to 8K a month. So you must do something with 5K, right? You must be paying your bills, right? <laughs> Throw it in my bank account and let it sit there? Huh. Like, what the fuck am I going to do with that? So that, Wait a minute. Just listen to this reasoning. I don't need 5K because it'll just sit in my bank account. What am I going to do with it? So then why are you asking for 5K? He's, he's already gone in cyclical logic. That has He's fucked himself already what he's saying. Like, I don't need the money. Then why are you asking for money? Right? Like, what are you talking about? If you don't need 5K, why do you have a subscriptions goal on your screen and you're asking to hit 3,700? If you don't need the money, why are you asking for it? In fact, if you don't need the money, why are you even streaming right now? Why, why just turn it off and just have a nice private life to yourself and then no one has to ever talk about LTG ever again? Right? Like, I don't know. Like, 5K don't even excite me. <laughs> you should have, you should have, uh, maybe offered me five bins, maybe even 2020. What? What is he talking oh, about? Oh, shit, 5K. Uh, run, uh, what was that? I was like, what was that? Hold on a second. What was that? Bins, maybe even 2020. I'd have like, oh, shit, 5K. Uh, run, uh, What the fuck was that? Should have uh, maybe offered me five bands, maybe even 2020. I'd have like, oh shit, 5K. Uh, run, uh, uh, what was that? <laughs> I, I didn't even know what to say.
say? How do you comment on that? What the fuck was that? Was there a demon being exercised from his throat? He was like, Bleh! like poltergeist coming out of him? What the fuck was that? Does he know he's he's live right now? He knows the camera's been on the whole time, right? <laughs> now it's like, okay, let, let's just say, let's just say this. I got 5K, right? That I didn't have before. So to me, it's just money. I'm, it's just disposable to me. Um, shit, buy what some Balenciagas. That's a band. Save the four. I mean, the fuck. So I'm saying, like, what the fuck would I do with five k? Throw in my bank account. So why are you asking for it? If you don't need money, why are you asking for money to qualify for an appearance? I'll tell you why. Because you're being a pussy. You don't want to leave your castle. You just want to sit there and do your own thing, which is fine. That's fully respectable. But then don't make up excuse after excuse. Just say, I want to be left alone. I don't want to do it. Goodbye. And then people would probably like stop. But dude, you first it's, oh, I'm clout chasing. I'm not clout chasing. I have no clout to gain from you. I want to make content people want to see. People want to see this. Well, I want $5,000. No one's paying you $5,000. You may make some money from doing it. Well, now I don't need the $5,000. So shut the fuck up, all right? Be a man and either say, I'm going to come on your show. We'll have a conversation. I'll leave my fucking comfort zone and, and private bubble to do something that people actually want to see instead of sitting on my stream, reading off my fucking Discord and doing boring shit. Do something interesting for once, all right? And you can take your 3,700 subs over to your stream and you can make bank on it. You will. The people will support you if you do interesting content. All right. Or you can keep sitting here delusionally making excuses in your own fucking head about why you don't want to do content. All right. It's not that people have to pay you up front. It's not that, oh, I don't need the money. It's not that there's a clout chaser. It's because you just don't want to make interesting content. You're afraid because Jay Snyder destroyed you years ago when you tried and he beat you in a match. That's what it is. He crushed you. He crushed your gems. You understand? permanently apparently your gems never came back he crushed them and they haven't grown back that's sad you got to stop being like that man you got to stop you got to go out and do something fun and something interesting i don't i the truth is i have no malice towards this man whatsoever zero i just know that making content with him is what people want they want to see us talk they want to see us maybe play some fighting games you know they want to see us have at it and i'm cool with that i'm not going to take it to the extreme i'm not going to sit there and talk about personal shit in his life that no one should know. I'm not going to fucking be below the belt hitting him and shit. Because the truth is, I don't even know that shit anyway. You know? I want to have a conversation with the guy. That's it. That's literally it. Because that's what people want. But he won't let it happen. He has every excuse possible. Right? Every excuse possible. Stop with the fucking excuses. Either say, I'm not going to do it because I'm a puss and I want to sit around and do my own shit forever. Or do it. Those are your two options. No excuses are going to change that, all right? No rationale, no fucking coping, which is what you're doing. You're trying to cope by making all these things up. Just fucking say yes or no, all right? And if it's a no, we all know why. And if it's a yes, wow, that would be amazing, and people would love it, all right? It's just so dumb. He's going on for four and a half minutes. He has nothing to say. He's making fucking voices. What the fuck are you doing? Just fucking say yes or no. You know, that's all you could do is really save it. Buy one little cool thing and save the rest. Well, y'all gotta stop bothering me if you're not gonna pay me, bro. So guys, <laughs> you gotta stop bothering me if you're not gonna pay me. By the way, I don't need the money. You, he, he literally doesn't listen to himself. He doesn't. He thinks that, like, everything he says is so cherished and interesting. He doesn't understand that he just contradicts himself immediately. <clears throat> just like that mask nigga that keeps calling me out, pay me money. Give me 10 bands, nigga. You want, you want my presence with a corny-ass fighting game? that only you're going to get all the benefits off of, I need double-digit thousands. You see? It's 100% Jay Snyder destroyed this man. Crushed his nuts. Oh, excuse me. I meant to say gems, but I guess crushed his nuts too. Because he has no nuts anymore. Because he won't do anything because he's so... I have to get giant personal benefit out of anything I do. Because he really thought he was going to beat Jay and that was going to be his big propulsion into stardom. And then he lost to Jay 
And since then, he's been the whipping boy of the FGC, and he just can't get any kind of, like, like feeling back down there. It's sad. That's fucking sad. Jay Snyder crushed your nuts, and now you can't come back from it? It's been, like, a decade since that happened, too. This is really sad, man. Top shoe brand is right now? Shit, I don't know. Does he know anything? He doesn't know anything about the fighting games. He doesn't know anything about shoes. What does he know? Does he even know that his LED wall is facing the wrong way and no one can see it on camera? Shit, I think New Balance is killing it. Asics is killing it. He just said he didn't know. He just said he didn't know, and then he spouted off the fucking exact facts that people wanted to hear anyway. Oh, my God. This is just ridiculous, man. All right. Well, here's the deal. I really hope that this guy will see reason. I do. I hope that he'll see reason. I hope that he'll see, you know, the fact that oh, this, this is things people want. People said this is what people want. This is, this is money to be made. This is views to be had. For what? For us to just sit here and talk. Literally just to sit here and fucking talk. I'm not even shitting you. Like, just us having a normal conversation. People would go nuts. Because they wanted this for ages. And now, he, he's like, he just wants to sit there and do nothing. I just don't understand that. You know? It, maybe, maybe what it is. And here's the thing. It's not like no one gave him respect. Because he had the interview with Destiny. You know? If anything, so, I had the interview with Kino Casino. Right? It gave me respect. It opened me up to a whole new audience. A whole new group of eyes. People like me now. They want to come by. They want to hang out with me with my content. They want to have a good time, correct? So he had that moment with Destiny. So what happened? Right? I just, I don't get it. You would think that would have been his stepping stone out of his safe zone to do fun stuff. I don't think there's any harm in doing a crossover event at all. I don't. I don't think it's going to hurt either of us. Because if we play Street Fighter and I beat him, who gives a fuck? No one thought I, he was going to beat me anyway, right? You know, <laughs> then nobody cares about that. If, we have, if, we, if he just appears on my podcast, but I, think, I think the podcast appearance would be better than him playing Street Fighter with me. Being honest with you, I do. I think that that's just you know, hanging out and having a conversation would be way more valuable than... Us doing stupid Street Fighter. Because I agree with him. It's dumb. Internet rivalry nonsense. What's to be had by that? Nobody cares. But for us to hang out, have a good time, it would be more, way more entertaining. Right? I, I really believe that. And for some reason, this guy thinks I, I wish him ill will and shit. I don't. It's just that he constantly bosses insults and says dumb shit. That makes no sense. You know? You notice now, he doesn't say anything about how I look anymore. Did you notice that? Because I destroyed him last year when he did that shit. I was like, dude, that's fucking bizarre the way you're acting. So now he doesn't mention it anymore. Now, just, now I want money. All right, well, what if you're going to make the money? Oh, I don't need the money. Like, dude, that's every excuse in the book. Every fucking excuse in the book. Enough is enough with this nonsense, right? So it's this simple. You should either agree or say, I have absolutely no interest whatsoever. And don't make 27 excuses about it. Just say, yeah, this would actually be pretty good. We get views and we make money doing it. So I want to do it. We should do it. Or, no, I just want to sit in my little isolated bubble forever. And you know what? If that's the case, right? If that is the case, I will respect that. I will. I'll respect that because I was abused for 10 years on the internet. I was treated as the internet's whipping boy, right? I really was. And now, the last month and a half, things have changed. I got more viewers. I got more, more engagement. I got more support. I got people talking about me in a positive light. I got guests coming on my show. We got momentum. That's a great thing to have. So now, things are different. Now to reach out to a guy like him and to build the bridge, and you know what I mean? That would be tremendous. You know what I'm saying? But the sad fact here is this guy is so punch drunk. Like, I feel like he's gotten beaten up by the internet for a decade. And so he doesn't want to do anything. And the thing is, I can understand that. That's exactly how I felt. You understand? That's exactly how I felt. And every time that I would try to do something like the side scrollers interview, look what happens, right? Finally, with Kino Casino, <clears throat> it turned around. For, much for the better. So now, I feel like I could extend that olive branch to him. He could come on the show. We could just sit here and talk for an hour. We'd have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And the funny part is, a lot of you guys in chat are being toxic to him and saying shit about his personal life. I don't give a fuck about LTG's personal life. 
I really don't. I don't want to know about anything behind the scenes that you guys have discovered secret lore and shit. I don't give a fuck. I just want to sit here and have a conversation with the man about all kinds of stuff. Why do you think people have called you the Black DSP, right? Honestly, what are your thoughts about the modern FGC, right? What do you think about games right now, right? What kind, what kind of content do you actually want to make in the future? Are you really done with fighting games to the point where you just want to sit there and talk to people on Discord? Are you interested in interviews? Like, like, this is just the thing, I just asked a bunch of questions that are interesting that people would want to hear the answers to, right? We don't need to hear about his fucking, what's going on in his life, his fucking private shit. It's fucked up. People did that to me for decades. No, I'm not going to go there. I just want to have a, a, a man-to-man conversation where you get to know this guy in a personable way without people just dumping giant loads of duty on it, which is probably what's happened to him every single time he's tried to do anything for ages. And he thought that that Destiny appearance was going to work. But the problem is you can't do it that way. You can't go to someone who no one had interest in seeing you talk to and think that's going to change things. You got to go to people who actually have interest, you know? To see the DSP, LTG, collab, that's hype. People wanted that for, for 10 years. But you can't make someone see reason. Like, he's got to have... I would say this. If, you, if anyone out there is, like, close to this guy, like, actually, like, you're a friend of his, you got to talk reason to him. Make him see some reason here, you know? The stuff he's saying is delusional. No one's paying him 5K, 10K to come on anyone's show because he doesn't have that kind of value. He just doesn't. All right. But to see him do a crossover event, like the likes of this that people have asked for for a long time, that would put butts in seats. I wouldn't be shocked if LTG came on the Level One podcast. I wouldn't be shocked if that did better than the Keemstar appearance. I'm just being honest. I think it would. I think it would benefit him huge and we'd get tons of views and a good positive eye on the guy. But he has to want to get out of his bubble. And it seems like he just doesn't want to get out of the bubble. He's stuck in the bubble. Right. And that's sad. Okay, um, but I'm only saying, I'm just saying if you're someone close to him or friendly with him, I don't want people going harassing him in his chat. I don't want people going on his streams and his Discord being dicks to this man at all. I just, that, that's the opposite of what I want. That's not what I'm intending here. And if you do that, you're a fucking asshole. And I'm going to fucking tell you right now, I'm not, condo I'm not condoning that. I'm, I'm condemning it. No one is to harass this man, all right? He's got to make the decision for himself. It's going to be a big step, honestly. That's a huge step to make. So you got to understand that. Let him think about it. All right. And it's that simple. Be, be nice to the guy. Treat others how you want to be treated. Correct? Well, the guys talked shit about me for a very long time. Uh, back and forth. And now I'm laying down the truth of the matter of what I think should happen. It's, it, the ball's in his court. All right. But no more excuses. That's what really is getting me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so stupid that it's fucking, oh, I'm not, I need money and you got to work on your crispy, sexy. What the fuck are you talking about? Be a man and say yes or no. All right. All right. All right. That's that. Um.